nakaka-apply mo na o. Kaya mo yung makompare dito ang dumao. Palayo, palayo. Tagay, microphone please. Hi, Shay. Hello. Yes, you are from Inayo One. Correct. Right? So, what would be your message to the Inayo One, especially the LGBT community? Like, you are, they look up to you. You are their inspiration. You are their model. So, how would you, how would, what's your message to them? It's such a privilege to be called as an icon or an idol to the young youths of today, especially to the LGBT um, kids or the generation, the newer generations of today. Correct? Correct. That's it. So the only message that I can tell to everybody, especially to the younger generations, uh, the LGBT, um, just believe in yourself. Do not hide of what you are. Take your time to be yourself. And if you found yourself, then that's the time where you need to show up to the world who you really are. And be an inspiration to everybody. I think that's it. That's very important. That's our Queen Philippines World Shaley Anne. And how about the Fiesta Shaley Anne? What would be the message to the Inayo One on? Fiesta, oh my god, Fiesta, it's been like, when I was here, it was like back then, like 2013, which is a transfer in here. So I'm not really from Inayo and Inayo one. We were just a transferred resident from Tipadilla, so I was like, I was born there in that thing, Tipadilla. So we were just a transferred resident here in Inayo, that was way back when I was still in high school. So it was 2015 when I first won Queen of Inayo one, it was my first time ever to join the pageant itself. And it's my first time again to step foot here in the very same stage and stadium or gymnasium here in Inayo one. So I am so happy and privileged to be one of the first um, beauty queens in Inayo one who raised up the bar high for oh, yeah, Inayo yeah, yeah, one. <laughs> so that's it. I am inviting everyone to watch for the another shows that will be coming up for the days to come tomorrow up until to the fiesta. So let's enjoy and have fun with our fiesta. And to those who are not from here, I am welcoming you all with a humble heart with our Barangay Captain, Kirk Arifolio. So please let's give a round of applause to our Barangay Captain. And to the people behind this you know, beautiful stage, with this beautiful, um, what, how do you call this one? What kind? This, this one, this, this event. Okay, that's it. So let's give a round of applause. Thank you. I have a question. Is the result already always have more time to Chica? Yeah. Shane Lee Ann, you were competing Queen International and you were held up. You were second runner up. Yes, second runner up. Do you see yourself joining Miss International, uh, Miss International Philippines? Um, Miss International Pink Philippines was first held last March. It was the first time ever that the Philippines has franchised the first ever Miss International in Philippines. And the back then, I was not ready. I was just forced to because I wanted to join. I'm not ready financially. I'm not ready with everything, with all the costumes and all. Especially with the cost of like, you know, going back and forth to Manila. Because it was held in Manila. And it's so hard for us people from Visayas and Mindanao to go back and forth in Manila without any support from anyone. And then, well, luckily, I got second runner up. But still, you know, when you were in the top three, why do you want to be chose to be a runner up if you want it to be? Because your goal is to get the crown, not to be for a runner up. If you got the runner up, then you need to pursue and go more higher. So, what I only just So, you should not lose hope. 
That's what happened to me. Okay, I told myself that I was going to stop because I got depressed. That's really true. I got depressed. And then my friends pushed me to join the um, Green Philippines, Green Philippines, which was held three days ago in Waterfront Cebu. And yes, that's it, I won. Green Philippines World, luckily. And so to the people who, who you know, who wanted to join pageantry, whether it's male pageantry, female trans, or bisexual pageantry, just don't lose hope. Because that's what we Oh, oh. Thank you, and personally, I am a fan. I am a fan of yours, and I am really hoping, I'm not, I'm not losing hope to see you in the international stage, right? Thank you so much. Gusto lang to to shake a garbage sign I want, buying for the title Queen International. Yeah, and it's not just for a 91, but the entire Cebu city itself. Yes, and not just in Cebu City, but Philippines. you are the pride of the Philippines. Thank you so much. Hopefully, Shaley and, and right now, sa mga kagisihan, sa yung Ani Kagwapa. As of this moment, I am still, you know, right after the pageantry world, I wanted to stop for now and continue with my studies, with my business, which is the Queen's Beauty Hub. So you can actually like the page, Queen's Beauty Hub. We are offering services from um, with the clients for more. with whatever trans women, the trans girl, the little trans girl please. You can actually just message me and you know, we can have a chit chat with that. Is it for free? It's not actually for free, there's no business for free. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it is number four because you're my, my idol. Right? <laughs> 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 we not for it. Somebody else? I don't know, I don't know. So, uh, do you have any stock medicals? So, 